Dr. Watson went camping that day. And in the middle of the night, Holmes woke up Watson and said, Watson, look up at the sky. What do you see? Um, I see many stars. Okay, so what does that tell you? Watson thought for a while before answering, it tells me that there are millions of planets, and perhaps even billions of galaxies, and we are one tiny part of this incredible universe. No, you idiot! It means that somebody stole our tent! <laughs> Have you ever wondered why there aren't any B batteries? There are double A, triple A, C, D, but there aren't any B. I think that's to avoid confusion, because if there were, you wouldn't be able to know if someone was stuttering. Let's say I walked into a store and asked, um, hi, can I please have the B batteries? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? B batteries. <laughs> and people would think, aw, oh, poor kid, I wonder if his parents tried speech therapy. <laughs> <laughs> but they're D batteries, and I'm guessing that would be hard for foreigners. Yes, hello, I would like D batteries. <laughs> Okay, what kind? D batteries. Okay, look, I know you want the batteries, so you have to tell me what kind. Ugh, D batteries! <laughs> One day, two guys went hiking and found an abandoned well next to an abandoned farm. They wanted to see how deep the well was, so they threw a small rock into it, but they didn't hear the splash. So then they dropped a bigger rock into it, but they still didn't hear the splash. So then they found this huge rock and heaved it into the well. But instead of hearing a splash, they heard hoofbeats. They turned around them to see a goat running towards them. It sprinted past them and jumped into the well. They were spooked by this and decided to leave. On their way back, they met a farmer who asked them, What are you doing here? To which they replied, We were hiking and we found a mysterious well. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm just looking for my goat. The farmer told the two guys told the farmer about the mysterious goat that had jumped into the well. Oh, that can't have been my goat. My goat was tied to this huge rock. <laughs> when my dad first came to America, his friend picked him up at the San Jose airport. As they were driving, my dad said, "Oh, so this is San Jose." <laughs> Pronounced it and told him that it was actually pronounced Jose. My, thought, my dad that thought, thought that this was ridiculous. It was spelled with a J, not an H. They started arguing before deciding to ask somebody else. So they stopped at a fast food place and asked the guy at the counter, Hi sir, can you please say the name of this place very slowly? Sure, the guy said. Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> there was once a boy named Peter who had a very loud voice. One day, his mom took him shopping, and in the middle of the supermarket, Peter yelled, Mommy, I gotta pee! <laughs> his mom was embarrassed and told him to shush. While dragging him to the bathroom, his mom told him, Peter, you shouldn't yell such things in front of strangers. But what do I do when I gotta pee? Peter asked. His mom thought for a while before coming up with the answer. Next time you need to go to the bathroom, tell me you want to sing a song. Peter agreed, and the next time he went to the bathroom, and, and next time he went shopping and with his mom and he needed to go to the bathroom, Peter just said, Mommy, I want to sing a song! And his mom smiled when she came to the bathroom. That weekend, he went shopping, he, he went camping with his dad, and in the middle of the night, at the campsite, Peter said, Daddy, I want to sing a song! What? It's the middle of the night. There are folks in those tents outside and you'll wake them up. You can sing a song in the morning. But I want to sing a song right now! <laughs> all right, all right, his dad said. Sing softly in my ear. 